The Purple ACI, or Pseudotrophius ACI, is one of my favorite beginner African cichlids. With its bluish purple coloration, it's a showstopper in any display tank. So let's go ahead and learn more about this very colorful Mbuna. The Pseudotrophius ACI is endemic to Lake Malawi, where it's found on the western side of the lake, where it inhabits both sandy and rocky areas that's littered with submerged rocks and other objects. While Mbuna are generally on the smaller side when it comes to African cichlids, purple ACIs do get quite large, with males getting to be about seven inches. Since they do get so large, I would really recommend keeping a group of these and no smaller than a 75 gallon tank. These fish will thrive in your typical tropical temperatures from 75 to 80 degrees, and these fish do like hard, high pH water. My purple ACI currently live in a pH that ranges from 7.8 to 8.0. In the aquarium, these fish are not considered plant safe, but I've had luck with Valisneria. You could also try some floating plants like hornwort, which I've found that African cichlids don't seem to bother. In the wild, you'll find Mbuna spending their days picking around algae on rock work and other objects. I personally like to feed these types of fish heavily with spirulina flakes and other vegetable-based foods. One of my favorites is the extreme spirulina flake, which you can purchase at the aquarium co-op. I will supplement with some protein-based foods as well, but these need to be fed sparingly to avoid bloating. So one important thing that you will need to keep in mind when keeping African cichlid tanks is filtration. These fish are messier and produce more waste than your typical community fish. And due to this, I would highly recommend either a hang on back filter, sump, or canister filter. If properly maintained, these filters can handle the waste that African cichlids produce and keep your tank and fish healthy. In this 125 gallon tank, I currently run a sponge filter to provide airflow as well as two hang on the back filters to help keep this tank clean. I personally like to use Valisneria as a line of sight block in my African cichlid tanks. The long leaves of the Valisneria will block the tank from one end to the other, providing hiding spots so one fish can't single out another fish from the opposite end of the tank. This allows any fish being chased to slip out of sight of the aggressor. As far as African cichlids go, these fish are fairly mild-mannered, so they make great tank mates for most other African cichlids. I would, however, avoid putting them with other Mbuna from the species Pseudotrophius to avoid hybridization issues. One of my favorites is to pair these fish with the yellow lab, or Labdachromus caruleus. Pair these fish with a dark substrate, and you'll have an eye-catching display for sure. You can pair these fish with other Lake Malawi cichlids, like peacocks and haps, but you do need to keep their diet requirements in mind. The peacocks and haps will be more carnivorous than your mbuna, so you'll need to make sure to keep the dietary requirements of both fish in mind. In my tanks, I've noticed that these fish like to school and shoal together, so I would definitely start out with a group of six or more so that they feel comfortable. Purple ACI are a maternal mouth brooder, which means that after spawning, the females will hold the eggs in their mouth for 21 days before releasing the fry. Sexing purple ACI is not the easiest thing in the world, but you will generally notice that males will be more territorial. You can look at the egg spots on the fins where the males will have more and have them more brightly colored, but that's not always accurate. If you're looking to raise the fry, I would highly recommend stripping the female or moving her to another tank so she can release her fry. Most of the fry would get eaten in a heavily stocked African cichlid tank. Now that we've learned about the purple ACI, you can definitely see why it's one of my favorite African cichlids. Its hardiness and peaceful temperament make it a great fish for the beginning African cichlid keeper. Combine that with its stunning colors and you truly have a winner. So good luck with your new purple ACI cichlid. And with that being said, stay safe, stay fishy, and I'll see you on the next video.